The third object that I've chosen to talk about in this selection of art objects that relate to metal is a sculpture that I have loved with pure admiration and it's a sculpture by the great British sculptor Sir Anthony Carroll. I continue to find this an immensely compelling and exciting sculpture and I should say a fun sculpture and, and it, you know it's a fun is not a word we tend to use with art very often because we might think of art as being quite serious and I think his sculpture early one morning really has a lightness a joy, a playfulness that a steel sculpture has no right to have. I mean, we would not expect a steel sculpture to have a joyousness about it, but I think Caro's does. I also think, what a title. Early One Morning is a brilliant title for this object because Early One Morning is a time. A sculpture can't show a time. Sculpture can show a person or an object or a place, but not a time. So in other words, early one morning is a state of mind. Early one morning is like an optimistic phrase. Yes, for some of you, early one morning is a nightmarish phrase. I understand this. But early one morning can be an embodiment of optimism, can be an embodiment of energy, can be an embodiment of, of getting things done, maybe. I find it a really great idea to call a sculpture at this early one morning. It doesn't look like early one morning, but its freshness and its vibrancy, for me, feels like it captures the quality of the phrase early one morning. So what he's doing here is he's using materials that exist in a different kind of context. They exist in the context of construction. They exist in the context of craft. He doesn't cast, he welds. He doesn't make things fresh, he uses things that are already there. He doesn't leave the surface raw, he paints it. He's doing the opposite of what he would normally do. And by doing that, he's able to create a new way of thinking about sculpture. He made this sculpture in his shed. And because he made it in his shed, he couldn't step back from it. He had to be in the sculpture while he was making it. He was in it. I love that. Because it means that he wasn't seeing, he wasn't able to step back and say, mm, looks about right he had to be in it while he was working on it and then he dragged it out onto the lawn apparently <laughs> into the front garden and he took, then he was able to see it I think that's a great piece of advice in terms of practice in terms of how you make your work so I think that 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 totally transformed his work then he was on a roll I mean in the 60s and 70s Caro was just on absolutely on fire with what he was doing with using industrial materials and using kind of industrial colors but creating works that have a lightness and a, and a vibrancy and a kind of sense of joy which was absent from sculpture up to that point which leads on to all kinds of other really interesting areas i still think that he's underrated a little bit so i'd like to see more caro in the future